coach of Japan. And there is, of course, Masiej Muzaj. Unbelievable last week. As was Slivka. The wing spiker will be looking to show Japan how it's done. But Japan have firepower of their own today. Nishida. Ishikawa will be looking to pepper the Polish. Get underway in it here in Leipzig, the final weekend of Vienna action before the best six, or as it could be, the best five and USA as hosts could still just about sneak in by right anyway. The USA currently in seventh, one win behind Poland and Italy. So there is a way USA could actually go to their home finals by right, but anyway, they make it as hosts as well. Ishikawa, that's why he's so good, and there's one of those 30 points he needs to catch up. With Nishida, and equal his VNL record of last year for Japan. goes one apiece Poland five set specialists in the volleyball nations league three out of three last week Serbia Argentina Italy an absolute epic against Italy they won all three they took six points of course with the first judgment going on wins over points as Japan Get their second point. Net it went. Number 20. Just being it into the squad this week. As we see Ben Norge, who played in Milan last week. Yeah, from right into the Polish team. It's a 2 1 Japan. We should count. Positive with both the points so far. And the reverse, massage, nice. Watch out for him this weekend. He's a brutal spiker of the volleyball. Really stepped up last week against Italy. 29 points against them, 11 stuff blocks. Overall now, and a monster block for Poland. 3-2. Gets the plaudits. Bring it down the number 20. Shida unable that time to find a way through. Square though. Three apiece. Smiles back on Japanese faces. Namuchi. It's the point. Service to be taken by Sakita. Played at the net by the Polish commander there alongside Biernik. Biernik, who's been capped over 50 times by this Polish team. Oh, quick hands from commander. Lovely on the overhead replay to see how quick thinking the setter was there. has to be more defensive than he normally is. Shida in. Off the block and out it goes. Japan level at fours. Speed of thought by Wozniak to get down then. Commander. Keep the ball alive. Big reverse for Musaj. Nishida. 
Musach had to travel a long way and jump a long way in the backcourt pipe there. It's messy at the moment from both. And eventually, the captain, Yanagida, turns away annoyed at himself because he's made a huge error there. on Yanagida's face. Poland State in the lead by one. Bienik will serve. Oh, nothing given. I thought Commander was going to get penalised for reaching across the net there. Instead, Japan kill the ball anyway. Nishida. Hugely powerful. It was there I thought Commander was going to get penalised. Back came Ishikawa. To me, this is a major difference for Japan this year that they have another option beyond the 19 year old number 11, Nishida. They've got Ishikawa scoring big points as well. Very clever slip cut. Relaxing, manoeuvring his arm. Manoeuvring the ball around Nishida's defences. Six five. Poland have the lead. Sakita reverse. Nishida over the shoulder of Commander, missing. What it would mean to. Japan to take the scalp of the world champions. In their final week of action in the 2019 VNL. It's Japan hosting the World Cup in 2019. Really quick work. Madeira, middle blocker. To the Japan keep themselves within touching distance here, and they very much are at 7 6, 6 7. Well, for one, so successful. Only Igor Kluka of Russia has more aces in the VNL than Nishida. There is, of course, Uchi looking on. Technical timeout, Poland 8 6. Uchi, the number six for Japan, currently just the one point. Ishikawa straight past Wojciech that time. He now has three spikes for the set so far. Another play there, bringing the mistake from Bienik at the net. Ishikawa showing the form he's been showing throughout this VNL. 160 points to his name now. He's allowing Ishida to play backup role in terms of points. Dream form at the moment. Ishikawa for Japan. He's leading all scorers. The only statistic with more is opponent errors in Poland's column. Four of those given over by the Japanese. Eight, six out of the timeout. Slivka serves. Miss hit there. But down it goes from Onodira. 7 8. Sakita kept it close. Wasn't quick, and it was wide of Waterjek who couldn't quite believe it. She landed in. Disappointed. Shoot to the head. Japan calm enough. Still just two points behind. Nothing at the moment to worry them. Wash. 
Captain's honours this week for his team. Huge reverse. Down it goes from Nishida with another super spike. Always difficult to come back a year after as a youngster having such an influential year in the VNL. And Nishida continuing in the form did last year in the 2019 version of the VNL first ace of the day not quite what a jack does well ah oh, Nishida was a mere brief interlude as far as the point when what managed to save himself from going over the advertising hoardings Nishida finished the point with little difficulty nine apiece Crowd in here for this one, of course, Germany coming up later on. Commender, reverse, backcourt pipe, Slivka doesn't find the result he wants, but Poland have a second bite of the cherry. Musaj not quite firing as he did last week. Dishikawa pushes long. Bednorz gets the touch. Ball just squirming away from the Japanese defence. 10, Japan 9. Gauchi. Frustrated and animated on the side. Back court pipe. Oh, clever. Very clever indeed, Yanagida. Excellent stuff from him. Looked like he was going all power with the back court pipe and just tipping over the top of the bigs. Excellent play. Watajek and Musaj noticed it very quickly, but there was nothing they could do. Kita, the setter with the serve. That was unplayable. That's what Musaj can do. Super spike indeed. And the opposite. Bellowed at by Coach Aynan. Saying that's more like it, that's more of what you were doing last week. Dig from Ishikawa. Oh, and Nishida. Touch on the net. Miniak. Himself. Huge. Well, down. And that one. Definitely a net. Definitely a net touch. 11 all. Nice ball by Fabricio Cower. No hit that time. Opponent. Opponent error wise. Off of Japan. Not a point. Very stingy. Today. On this Polish team. Four changes this week from VNL week four. Yanagid, a good angle. Very, very good angle from him. 12 apiece. Despite Yanagid. Making sure Binia. No chance in the back row. Whistle goes. Japan net touch. Away walks on and Dehera points at himself and says, Yeah, sorry, it was me. So the JT Thunders. Let's have a look here. Net wobbling. In the arms though. Mender with the jump serve. Kita keeps it short, sharp, and useful for on a Dehera that time. Around Japan in the red. 13 all. Getting towards the second technical timeout when things get very tense in any set, especially in a tight set. 
Remiss from Nishida. It's top server. Experience in the Polish ranks this week. As I said, with Italy. Very tough pull. Canada, who they'd hoped to beat, but then France and Brazil. Two of the top four. Poland will know that if Italy, with their work cut out there, can't find a way past France or Brazil, Poland get a couple of wins here in a far easier on paper pull. Pancake from Commander. Wash, though, unable to keep it live, then Poland will, the world champions, sneak into the top five. Last week, Veselinen barely spoke to his team. I think I remember counting about three times that he properly got his team around and spoke to them in a timeout. It was definitely a rarity. This week, much more inexperienced as we hear Philippe Blaine here. Philippe Blaine, the assistant coach of Japan. Doing the talking as tends to happen for Japan. He's very experienced, his Blaine. A French player, member of France's national team. From 84 to 87, played in the 1988 Olympic Games. Seoul in South Korea, of course. Oh, look at that for a spike and Koga, who has such a low centre of gravity, had no option there the ball pinging past there is Philippe Blaine he is a assistant coach who has a lot of the duties that a head coach would do in any other setup he does a lot of the talking a lot of the strategizing and you'll hear a lot of him this weekend at the timeouts on Adira once more going well at the moment the middle blocker hopping along now alongside this Shida top scorer in the match on four points Dean apiece, point away from the technical timeout. Onadira will serve. Yanagida runs decoy. Nishida takes us to the technical timeout, takes Japan to the technical timeout. What a check again. Getting a little bit too close to the advertising hoardings currently. Reverse set as Yanagida came in. And Nishida asking twice there. A good start for both teams. Japan will be happy to be one up here. They lead 16-15 at the technical timeout. Then, let's have a look at the... Big number 22 meters, one tall. Limited experience in the team. It's recently against Canada. Japan were out blocked 12 6, but this man scored 12 points against the Serbians in the first match of week one. And here he's already out to four points against the world champions. Aishi on Adira. An excellent start from him, the number 20. No aces in the game at all so far. As we come back from the second technical timeout. Commander. Easy, quick return from the technical timeout there for Inia and Poland. Shida. Just left flat footed. As well, 
And there, Bed Nors. But he had a fan club with him in Milan last week. He'll be cheering again this because he's got himself three points so far for the match. Tosh Bed Nors, the wing spiker. Excellent setting. Sakita did so well there. He had to manufacture, he had to work hard for the set, and Ishikawa was on hand to put the finishing touch. Sakita rushing across. Uchi. Decoy down the center, 17s now. It's the kings of the five setter against the team who have won twice in Germany in five sets. In the first. It's as tight as it can be. Ishikawa. Oh, what a jack. Went for the dig. Unable to cope with the power of Ishikawa. And the number 14 now. Up to five points. Japan not the cleanest in that passage of play. But Yamauchi with the dig for their main point scorer this season. And the reverse, Musaj, who seems to be power-wise off the pace for him today. Japan open up a two-point lead. Shikawa through Bed Norge defence. Poland have called the timeout. And if Vitalinen talks here as he is, listen in. Explain the guys in Poland, I for yourself. Play on high ball, they don't spike. Unless we take the hands away the ball, it's not happening. High ball, nice ball, they shot. Please, please take one shot. Please. Get the sense. Because this team is more inexperienced, Talainen's almost frustrated with how they're playing. Japan are sat there with two timeouts left in the back end of the set, which is advantageous to them. Two points behind. Next year's Olympic hosts and this year's World Cup hosts currently just have their noses in front. And it's a bed noise, brilliant from Koga. And then Ishikawa once more, having a field day. How he's improved since last year. Cutting it down, unplayable at the moment. Seven points for the match, all of them from the spiking arm. Bed noise now, whistle goes. Into the net from Japan. Oh, no, it's gone Japan's way. 21 17, excuse me, the referee. Signalled one way. And changed his mind. Japan have a four point lead. Surely they can close out from here, can't they? Ben Norge slows them. Brings it back to just three the difference. But Poland in 31 meetings won nearly five times the number of matches that Japan have ever won against this team in white and red. It goes back Poland's way. Backcourt pipe, Bed Nors rejected. And Japan at the moment are loving life. 22 18, monster block. Yamauchi can barely believe it. He was there very early and he read it magnificently. 
Akihiro Yamauchi. Well, currently, Poland have one more block than Japan. That their first block point of the contest. 19-22. Poland just continuing to tick along as we look at Filipiak with his first point of the encounter. Bartosz Filipiak. 25 years of age. Fault on the serve. And off walks the forlorn looking. Minik for a sit down and a chance to think things through. Two meters ten he is. Riley in to serve. Two points away from a very strong first set. This for Japan. It rattles into player in the back of the court. Ishikawa. Well, taste of his own medicine there. Shivka, no apologies. Indication of how the set has gone as we see Lukasik in for Poland, number 27, 24 years of age, plays at Onyko Warsaw, capital of course of Poland. Overhit, was there a touch? No, there wasn't. Bed nausea. Too hot on the spike. Japan, four set points against. The world champions. Bush gets the advice from the coach of Poland. Much change from last week for Poland. Much change, of course, from the world championships in Italy and Bulgaria from last week alone for the team in sixth in the VNL. Arta Chalpuk. Greg Grzegorz, Wumash, the captain and setter, Jakub Kokonowski, Bartosz Kwolek, who was absolutely super, five aces in a match last week. The Italian referee suffers the wrath of Peter Linens. Major changes for Poland from that World Championship, with Ein which Einens came in and managed to take his team to the third time they've taken the World Championships pole. <laughs> Nishida nets and it makes it just three set points to Japan, but still Poland can't afford any slips at all. Slip cut. Pressure on the younger players this weekend for Poland to lead this team over the line, over the top of Italy and in. The NL 2019 finals in the USA. How many of them would travel to the USA? Well, that man almost certainly would. After his showing last week. Now, of course, intimidating. Set point, three of them for Japan. Two players, the setter and the Libro getting in each other's way. Now. Back went Yana Gida with the effort right-handed. Monster block from Poland. And they've saved a couple of set points, but there's still a couple up against them. Ishikawa, the auxiliary setter. Yana Gida. Quash is there. Bednoj. And Muzaj. Where Muzaj with the block point. His third point now. Japan.
hand need for the first set. Is that into the net? It goes 25 22. Japan have taken a first set here against Poland. Poland who need to keep winning to give themselves a chance of that top five finish and overcoming the Italians. And they could not have started in worse fashion for Japan. Yuichi Nakagaishi doesn't look delighted at the moment, but trust me, underneath his calmness, he'll be thrilled with how his team has started proceedings here against Poland. We'll have a look at how Japan won the first against Poland. So let's have a look at the statistics for that first set of Slivka, of course, the service fault finished things off and Poland number one nothing behind. 20 attacks to 11. Well, I said Japan want to get off on the right footing and they very much did. They were outblocked as they've been quite regularly throughout this VNL. Service aces, none at all across the match. Opponent errors, Japan will want to tidy up. Poland, one of those four, came with the last touch of the set, and that was from the number 14, Alexander Schlivka, Poland's top scorer so far. Overall, it's just two points this match. The Japanese will be very content with how that first set went, aiming for the win of their campaign. Japan serve placement, let's have a look. Left-hand side, 36%. Just 5% on the right-hand side. And for Poland, 55%. Slap bang down the middle. Well, easily receivable for the Japanese. No aces across the board for either team. Polish fans are used to far better sets than they've just seen. Bit Linen is what used to far better sets than he's just seen, of course, in Poland. Should expect quite a few fans in here this weekend with them so close geographically to Leipzig, but also so close to the top five. Slivka will serve once more, hoping better than he did with his last service. Sakita, Yanagida, oh, back it comes. Nishida, was there a touch? Now, I am sure that Linens will challenge this. Yanagida, it came back brilliantly. The dig from Sakita, and then Nishida, it's gone Japan's way. Poland don't challenge. Bednors gets a point to start his set off. Four now for the match for him. He's nerves settling nicely, even if this Polish team are taking a while to calm themselves down. MVP in the Polish Super Cup 2017. Bartosz Bednoz. Sikita, long set. It's a cower. Wow, super spike and some. Down the line it goes. 
Left hand side from Ishikawa. Absolute beauty of a spike, this one. Spotting the gap, no mistake at all. Leading scorer in the match, double anyone on the other side of the next points for Ishikawa. Mender sets for Bednorge. You get the sense this weekend that that might be a familiar partnership. Bartosz Bednorge. No, he's got the quality. Champion of Poland 2017 2018. Now plays his volleyball in Italy. Ishikawa, no way through that time. Here comes Nashida, definite touch. Musaj the second. Japan with it, multiple attack options now. Last season, Nishida played superbly, but at times you just felt there was too much pressure on the youngster. Kita waits to serve. Sakai Blazer. Mended it so well, stretching everything he had just to make that set. And that point was all down to the number four. Marcin Commander, look at this. Wow, only just not over the net. Poland taking the opportunity he creates for them. Bednorz then misses. Thought it was close, looks over to Vitline and says, Come on, coach, help me out, and seemingly gets a shake of the head. Ishida powerful. Sorry, Ishikawa powerful. There he is again with the touch out. It goes for a piece. Well, again, Poland haven't started the strongest, but they're still much level pegging start of this second set Musaj that's more what we expect from him I need to serve Sakita Ishikawa no problems again for Ishikawa Five four. Yamuchi to serve. Cross couldn't quite get the angle downwards. Through comes Ishikawa right-handed, and he's bouncing now. Japan six four to the good. Yanagida went left. They split the Polish defence. Ishikawa, nine points of the game. Uchi to continue serving as Koga. Takes himself a breather. Now, Slivka misses. Inconsistent so far today, Alexander Slivka. His team need more. He's got two points so far. Impressive weekend last weekend. Poland are going to challenge this. Otherwise, they're 7 4 behind. Was there a touch at the net? Alexander Slivka didn't look overly certain here. Most of Poland. Worth a try. Let's have a look at what Hawkeye think. Carol Quash looking stern at the moment. Touch here. No touch. 7 4 it remains. Japan just opening up a lead and a point away from the first technical timeout. It was a risk to leave 
Some big names at home for Poland. Super spike from Muzaj. Five. First from Commander. And this is with Musaj. He's so tall. The opposite. Making sure. Ishida. Back it comes. No power in the spike that time. And again for Ishikawa this time. Slivka. Oh, what a dear and no chance. It was on him so quickly. Poland back to 6 7. On Adira at the net, the steep angle. Just straight into him and out it went. Slivka. It's three points now. Ed Norj leads the way for Poland with six. Ashida. Out it goes off the block as Slivka runs into Koga in pursuit of the volleyball. There is the technical timeout, and although Poland delayed it, they couldn't stop it as far as Japan were concerned. 8 6 Japan lead. Let's have a listen into the times. And here you see more regulation for him going and talking to the specific players he wants to have a word with. Standard setup for the timeout. Round you come, let's have a chat. It's interesting for both teams. At the moment, relying on translations to a degree. You see the translator stood just next to Philip Blaine in the background there. And earlier on, you heard Vital Lyman's turn to. Check and say, please translate to them what I've just said so there's no miscommunication. So, for both teams, there could be difficulties in terms of understanding the complexity of what the coach is trying to get across. Which won't help the coach, won't help the player at times. Shida with the serve. Slivka, Nishida's hands not quick enough as he fell away to his right-hand side. Actually, could have kept that live. Didn't realise quick enough. Shida absolutely throwing everything at that spike. 9 7. The Polish team. Look at Karol Kwasz in the background. He just looks almost angry at the moment. Yanagida. Koga. Will give it everything. Gets nothing back on that occasion. Of course, Japan need to be careful because although psychologically they seem to have the upper hand here, Poland is still in the game and they've got talent. No doubting that. It may be an experience, but there's talent galore in this team. There's one man with plenty. Peter having to drift out beyond the arc that he would want to stay within. Japan, though, managed to get the point down. 10-8 the score. Japan started off their campaign against Serbia, winning 3-1. They lost a couple. Won their only match in the opener against the Serbians. And of course, 
course, it was the likes of Argentina, Brazil and Iran. What a torrid second pool they had. Managed to get one win out of the three matches. Came a straight setter against Argentina. Ten apiece now here. Rosash, four points. A chance with the service as well now. Huge monster block, Yamauchi is there. And again sets himself early, again does the hard yards, reads the game perfectly. Commander reverses it. They're a long way off the net for Musaj. And Yamauchi was very, very astute in how he sets himself there. Bednor's poor from Poland that time. Ishikawa. Koga digs. Nishida can't find a way to get the ball to the ground. Bednor's can. Every time Poland go behind, they're not behind for long here. Oh, Yamuchi that time leaving a gap in the line of three. from Ishikawa, just blistering the spike through. Super spike. Especially every time he hits the ball at the moment. Bednor's couldn't get any lift on the dig at all. Couldn't get any placement with his hands. It was just too quick. 12-11. Service from Ishikawa. Make that 12s. to serve once more. Three spikes and a block for the match for him. Lovely service, gets the hit. It comes back from Ishikawa. Poland have the chance. Slivka wastes the first one, gets the second one, finds it magnificently left to right with the spike. Karol Klosch bringing Commander into play. Quick hands from Slivka. And Klosch was there again to set quickly. Short in the middle. Klosch had set too far across for the Poland team. And Yamuchi is enjoying himself at the moment. Not having the biggest impact on the match, but he is having an impact. He has four points so far in the encounter. He's going to serve now Yamuchi. Sonic Panthers, his club. Muzaj. Power taken off. Yanagida has to take the power off. Quashen, commander are there to say no. Poland have the lead once more at 14-13. Uh, Quash, more stern than animated this week. He was incredibly fired up and fun with it last week. Captain C making him take a more serious approach. And again, though, monster blocking his team now into a 15-13 lead. Carol Quash has taken it upon himself. Just a focused nod of the head. Commender serves. A point away. Oh, Quash, three in a row. This time with the spiking arm. Poland finally have come to the party here. They're in. And now there's a smile from Carol Quash as they go to the technical timeout. Finally, the focus breaks from Quash, and that's more the Carol we knew in Milan. Look at what it means to him. 
leading by example. Into line and seemingly doing his utmost to take the away. Don't let them hear what we're saying. Really playing much more relaxed in that department. Well, it will have calmed not only the young, inexperienced Polish players' nerves, the last passage of play, but also the likes. The Bartosz Bednor, seven points for the match so far. The long side Slivka has been up and down for Poland so far. Bartosz Bednor's right arm doing the damage. He needs to find the consistency as well. Kogut with the dig. Then Aguida. No power in it, but manages to just pat the spike off. Blockers. 14 16. Lacking height against Muzaj and Quash for Yanagida. Muzaj pushes it through Koga. Poor Koga. Flapping at that one. He tried to use. Every millimeter of his frame. But he's only one meter seventy tall. <laughs> missed. No, it hasn't missed. On Adira gets the point. It looked to me like that had bounced out. Madeira. Sakita with the set must have been a touch. And down it goes to the team all in red. Japan. They're a set up. Taki comes in. Fuji comes in. Changes galore for Japan. Is the number three and the number one. Played in the VNL last season. Coming to the match. Bednor's huge dig from the captain. Well, Koga, if he could have got up the steps there, he would have done. Realised, though, it wasn't going to happen. Poland go 18 15 into the lead. to serve Poland three points to the good in the second make that two to the good into the net it goes and off goes Karol Quash swaggering his way to the sideline the man from Warsaw plays a PG scrap Belcher Tour such a successful club in the Polish league Commender. Short and easy picking Sabinia. 19 16 and the super spike from the number 20. It's a regulation as Slivka went on the reverse. The hands of Onadira. Ishikawa. Wow. It wasn't the easiest spike there. The hand's not great originally, and then Fuji with the dig, which was a nice dig, and Ishikawa with the magic. He now has 12 points. Nishida flying with 10. Those two, 22 points between them for the match. Lednorz has beat so far for Poland. Comes Ataki to serve. 
Number of opponent's errors from the Japanese team. A disappointment to their management. 11 for the match so far. Now 12. It's been better though in this second set. Eight in the first and four in the second. No way that way, finding his way through what to Zerk out it goes. Off Japan. Five sets, three times out of three last week. Much changed this week. A disappointing start. Oh, what a shit. What a dig that was. But then Nishida does the damage left hand side. Super spike coming through position four. Well, 106 kilometers an hour. 18-21. Shekau, five points for the set. Another opponent error, the fifth of the set for Japan. Uh, from him, Clark Quash, the ball just drifted into his territory. Again. Smile on the face of the experienced player. It's Japan again call a timeout to delay, to pressurise Poland. You have to feel they're just delaying the inevitable in set two. They're going to be back to one apiece. Get a hit here. Yes, he can. Koga with the high set. Oh, Nishida, no way through. Monster block for Poland. Well, it was tough. He actually just caught the edge of the third set of arms, which belonged to the number 28, Filipiak. And he gets the ruffle of the hair, the youngster. Set point. Six of them for Poland. One saved. Yamuchi. Left to right. Oh, sorry, it's from Zawa. Excellent hitting from the number five. And his first point of the game. Yamuchi to serve. Yeah, can't 
find a way through that time. Pukazar again. Out it goes. Away goes the set from Japan. Poland 25, Japan 19. The dream start for the Japanese. They've been pegged back. Oh, they're challenging. Hang on before everything moves. The Lions can't believe it. Stern analyst. Lions. Computer. In his hands. Japan. Hawkeye will be brought into play here. No doubt this is just a. Having a look. No fault of the net. And there we go. There is the set. One apiece. Delkin places computer where he wants it. Feed on in the background. No doubt, loads of statistics. Poland take the second. 25 19. Let's have a look at how. That's from set two, Poland 25, Japan 19, 16 attacks to 15, just about in favour of the Polish team. Three blocks to one, Japan out blocked again, opponent errors again. Poland, half the amount of their Japanese rivals here. It's one apiece. Let's have a look now at the spike contact points of Poland. Sets one, sets two, as you see, Martian commander set up. Happy spike contact points for the first set. Well, left attack 33%, right attack 38, and then it switched. Look at that, 60% left hand side, 23 down the middle as the likes of Quash had an effect in the game, but the left massively faved in the second. And the spikes massively more successful so far. 27 points of 47 coming spiking arms of the Polish team. 35 from 44 on the other side of the net. Just two block points coming for Japan. Just seven opponent errors they are having to do the hitting themselves, which Poland not having to do as much. There you look at the set stats overall. It's one apiece in sets. Still not nice between them. Biniak. Six points of the match, five, eight, five spikes in a block point. Now Quash, spikes, one block point for Kazao. We saw him coming late on, left-handed. If you're looking for another points machine for Japan, he's not quite an Ishida or an Ishikawa. He comes up with important points time and again for his country. Number five, 19 points against Canada earlier this season. This is back underway here. Schlope starts the third. As he went through the second. Ready and waiting for the set from Commander. One nothing.
Kawa himself now just about sneaking ahead of Nishida once more 106 kph Schlivka nothing at all nowhere near it 13 points is Yakawa 11 for Nishida and on a Dera will serve Muzaj easy for Kazawa Bednorz misses. 2 1. Japan have the lead. Reverse set from Watizek. Good dig from him, though. At least keeping the ball in play. And again, but that time, out it goes. And Poland level. Set three up at two apiece. Persistence paying off for the Polish team. Sakita had to travel a long way and avoid the referee. the spike downwards for his ninth. Nochi didn't connect properly. Bednorz does. Koga. Oh, well, the Japanese there on the right-hand side of the court, on the right-hand side of the net, just fell asleep. They stopped playing. They didn't think Koga would get it back at all. He did. They find themselves behind. Yamauchi sneaks that one, clattered the net, two touches, forcing the error from the Polish side of the net. Better line and says it was only one. Just clawing it through on them, and it bounced around off Commander, it bounced around off Benio. You can see why the referee penalised Poland, three apiece. Excellent from Sakita. Oh, wow. That is just superb. Japan had no right to that point at all. It would need some magnificence. And that's exactly what it got. Sakita and Ishikawa. Muzaj through Koga, super spike, four apiece, Koga having to be careful against Muzaj because he's getting absolutely peppered from three metres forty. First, Nishida, super spike. 12 points for him now. Japan with a very narrow lead. Nishida coming around and Slivka definitely not smiling. Come 
and the reverse Musaj into Yamuchi. Yamuchi was stock still, couldn't get his hands low enough, couldn't avoid sending the ball flailing out of play. Musaj seven points now, six from that spiking arm. Kazawa, Sakita sends Nishida <laughs> racing away. Cameraman minding his own business on the far side of the court. Quash definitely having an impact for his team today. Very wide, as wide as he can be. Because Al that time manages to get it in off the touch. Being annoyed with the previous point. This time angled differently. Mender behind Muzaj. Muzaj unable this time to point for Poland. Seven each. One away from the technical timeout in the third. Huge jump serve, Nishida misses. 8-7, Poland take the lead into the first technical of the third. Gradually, it's an upward curve, this one for Poland. First technical timeout of the third set is done. Leipzig awaits the home team later against Portugal. What a lovely piece of play from Ishikawa. Super spike once more. Straight down the middle. Oh, Commander. Well, that was smarted. Eight apiece. Poor serve, though. Kozawa takes himself off to the back of the court. As a word. 9-8. Get Poland currently sixth in the VNL after three wins in a row last week in Milan. Nishida that time sideline and quash beaten. Super spike Nishida. Nine each in this one. Nishida still chasing Ishikawa for top scorer. Oh quash. Nishida now. Shikawa has 15. Bed Norge leading score on the other side of the net with 10. Commender, big reverse. Oh, and down it goes. Super stuff is Shikawa and Yamauchi alongside each other. 10 9 Japan lead. Muzaj is not used to being denied at the net. Onodera. Looking to push Japan further into the lead. And on Adira, 
Takes the ball down to the court side. Moussage hitting off the touch of Ishikawa. Not doing on a deer any favours at all here. straight he might although it'd have been more powerful he might have actually picked it up ten apiece Sakita big reverse Nishida Bed noise for a second would have had hope as the ball ricocheted off the block it was too powerful to play it went Hogan took control of that play very, very well, the lead rope for his team. Resetting, calming for Sakita. 11-10. Koga that time, nothing he can do to pick the dig back up. Super spike from Bionier. Close quarters. Mender, Moussage misses, surely that time, yes he does. 12-11. Again, Poland just Focus drifting a little in this third set. Not as bad as in the first. They relate to the Leipzig Arena in terms of how they played in the first set. They've improved as it's gone on. Slivka, one of our ones to watch today. Very intense as he went into the huddle there. Hour. Koga digs. Nishida. Through the hands of Mozaj. Oh, a well, huge error. Coach Einan's face said it all there. This should not have got through. Bednor sliding to try and somehow pancake. It was in vain. Still not an ace in the match. Sakita into his shoulder and out of play. Tina piece. Ednor's just stretching off. Want to check into the net and down it goes eventually. Oh, now, Moussage, heavily taped fingers, and he's in a lot of pain here. Poland can little afford to lose such an important player. I'm suggesting he will be out, but they really can't afford to lose. That's the issue. Bearing in mind how tall he is. Standing two meters eight tall. Quickly, he was down to the court there. Well, he looks okay, and he will continue. 14-13. Magnificent dig from him. Schlivka in and out. 14s. Every time Schlivka goes in. So intense. Get the sense this Polish team need to relax a little. No Qualic, remember. No Womash, who led well last week in Milan in difficult circumstances. Nishida almost puts his shoulder out trying to hit that so hard. Gets it all wrong. 
reverse. Straight onto the antenna. Bed nausea. Quash. Pressure on. Kazawa, did it find a way through? Yes, it did. Replay quickly watched by Vitalainen. Points now for the match. We haven't seen a man smiling in the middle yet. Lukas Kazmarek. But of course, a long old weekend yet again in the VNL. Lots of quality volleyball to come. Bednorge. Nishida. Oh, smashing Muzaj. And again, down it goes from Nishida. Goes to the push that time, just tipping the ball through. And Japan take themselves to the second technical timeout. When it came back, Nishida changes, just clawing it through. And outsmarting the Polish team. Suddenly realizing. On high balls, they don't spike hard, guys. They only go for half balls. Yes, Muzaj, Koga knew all about him there. Seven attacks, nine points so far, a couple of blocks. Power is his game through and through. He's two metres eight tall. Fukuzawa found it tough to find a way past at the net. As he has Muzaj has a huge role to play this weekend. The taped fingers, well, why not have four of them taped? Injured and one minutes ago as he hit the ground, as he hit the court. So much power in his game. Nine points for the match, one away from Bednorz, who leads the scorers for the Polish team. Gazawa to serve for Japan. A vital stage in the third set, a vital stage in the whole match. Muzaj makes it 16. Aiming for that loaded right hand side where Fukuzawa waiting by the attack line. The captain couldn't do his bit that time. that time got a touch and able to get the point out it goes Osage. you're on that occasion at FIBB volleyball if you want to follow all the action from the VNL on social media hashtag Joy VNL. If you want to have your say. The Japanese team, Sakita to serve now. 18-17. Musa super spike into Koga. Vicious stuff from the opposite. Yet again, Koga's the man who has to stand and just accept what's drilled at him. Tried to dig, trying to bring the ball back across for Nishida or anyone he can get it to. The power from Musaj is way too much. Oh, 
Philippe Piak gets across, gets the ball back for Vignac, who puts the point away. Eight points now for him. Good dig from Philippe Piak. And a call to timeout. They're currently a point behind here. It's 19-18. Bednorz will serve. Can Poland? Spans say, can they go two up? No, they can't. It's 19 all. Dismay. Bednorz's face. He should cower. Waits to serve. Shida off the block, out of play. Iniak and Schlivka next to each other. Japan edge themselves into a point lead. Musaj comes back, his rest's over. Shakara again, second top server for the Japanese team coming into the weekend. Schlivka finds a way through that time. 40 points gone in set three, nothing to split these two teams. Poland need a win to help their chances of a finals qualification. Sakita now, which way will that go? Sakita a judge to have reached across. Could that be crucial? Sakita knew it was drifting away from him. Have a better look here. Yeah, just, just about reaching across on Slivka. Missing to make it 21 apiece. It's now down to cool heads. Who can keep calm when the pressure's on? Holden last week proved they were very, very good in the difficult situations. The death of matches and the end of sets. Course, just the one five setter against Canada. Poland go 22 21. Recently, super spike though from Onadira. Two meters, one tall. And now Japan back to parity, 22 apiece. Nishida. Up off Sivka, good dig from him. Moussaj takes everything off. Sakita forces it through, gets the touch. Huge from Sakita against a huge player. Sakita is outdone. 
Masios Musaj here. Up it went, and he forced his way past him. He had no right, really, to get the point against the bigger man. Both teams have a timeout remaining. That could be crucial. Sash was caught napping then. Japan go 2 1 up last week. Went down 3 0. Pool 13 against the USA. 25 15, 25 19, 25 19. Then they turn 3 0. Loss into a 3-0 win against China before losing 3-2 to the Canadians on the Sunday. Excellent serve from Nishida. Japan have control. Sakita now back in system. Super spike Japan. 24-22. They have the set point as well. Bukazawa off the touch of Quash. He's chipping in with helpful points, Bukazawa. Poland are a point away from being 2 1 down. Overhit from Nishida. Went all power. Surely a hit would have been a better option. It's still set point. Pressure on Poland still. They fault at the serve. They're 2 1 down. Schlivka finished the first set with his fault. Can he avoid? Deja vu here. Yes, first of all. Bukazawa, excellent monster block from the Polish team. Wash alongside Muzaj. Muzaj makes up for that point lost against Sakita earlier. With a magnificent monster block against Fukazawa. Poland have saved two set points here at the end of the third. Can they now go 2 1 up themselves or at least put themselves to set point with this serve from Alexander Schlivka? Nishida. In and out it goes off the block on the left hand side as the Polish team looked. Nishida gets another point. Japan get another set point. Their third now of this third set as the German team looking relaxed in the stands. Poland. Of course, Peter Leinen will challenge. He wants a net shot touch to be had a look at. In the center of the middle block will make net for sure. For sure. Tell him he's short. He used to argue with him. And who, of course, led Germany to fifth in 2012 and a bronze medal at the 2014 World Championships, the 48 year old. Now, coach of Poland. He came in to the Polish setup and led them. Championship title. He's certain here. His team deserve this point. Alexander Slivka looks nervy. Would because he know if the challenge if the challenge goes his way, he's got to carry on serving at set point. Flip round to set point Poland if this challenge is correct. Everyone waits for Hawkeye. Technology embraced in the BNL, embraced by volleyball. Adds so much to the game and it works so well in the sport as part of the fabric of the elite game nowadays. Carol Quash looked confident there. Of the 
the net. That's the claim. Rattled. No fault. 25 24 it remains. Japan. Oh, there was a fault. It's Poland's ball and their point. Slivka for the set. Nishida squares it all up again. 25 apiece. Again, having a conversation with the coach, oh, sorry, with the referee, 25 apiece, challenge once more. Challenging unsuccessfully. So their set point nullified by the Japanese who have had three. Sakita. Getting that man, Yoshida, into play so much as he does for Ishikawa. Those two now were 35 points of the match, which if you add up the three top scorers for Poland, only got 32. The only team with a timeout left as Poland call their last. Again, Bit Linens just offers little words to his team. His assistants are always working away in the background. Spike. Wrong footing. Everyone bar commander. Down the there supporting. Yana Gida, the captain. Gives Poland another set point. Their second now of this one. 26-25. Nagida wanders away, wincing. And nearing. 50 appearances for his country. Oh, and there it is. And it's Muzaj alongside Biniak. And Poland have turned around. Three set points throughout the, at the end of that set to go 2 1 up. 27 25. Buzaj now 13 points of the match, four of them from the block. Japan have a lot to think about. The world champions having been 1 0 down. And now 2 1 up. They took it 27 25 in the third. Slivka and his team are just one away from a vital win in the VNL. Let's have a look at how the third set was won.
Riley. Picks up some detail. Let's have a look at the set of stats. Poland winning 27-25 for the third set. 17 attacks each. Remember, in the first, when Japan took the set, they massively out-attacked Poland. Three blocks to one. Again, Poland have the advantage there. Not a huge surprise. Still, not a service ace in anger. Opponent errors, seven apiece. Better that time from Japan. But they go down 27-25. Leading scorers for the set. Muzaj, eight, five attacks, three blocks. Nishida, also eight. All of them coming from his spiking arm. Eight apiece, the top scorers on both sides of the net. Poland managed to take the third. They're currently 2-1 up. Japan have no option but to seal the fourth. Otherwise, they lose their first match of week five. And Poland get an all-important win at the first time basking. And of course, continue the run of fine victories. Those two victories this week would match number of wins from last year, 10 and 5 they went, they've won their last four in the VNL. Five in a row for the second time if they win here. service. Nishida. Out it goes. Opponent error. First point. Poland. In the full set. Bednorz gets away with a reach over the net and Clark Quash puts the monster block down for Poland. Great start for them. A stroke of luck, I think, for Bednorz earlier in the point. Excellent hand shrimp to keep it live. There, surely that's over the net. Has to be. Wow. Sakita so asked the question and the replay has to back him up, I must say. Sakita dragged out beyond the attack line. Nishida doesn't care. He puts Japan's first point of the third, fourth set away. A super spike it is indeed. Hundred and seven kph, bouncing its way past Shlivka. Nearly finds the line. Schlivka rolls backwards out of the way and replays for us exactly what he did. Poland have a 3-1 lead in the set. A 2-1 lead in sets. Nishida brings it back to 2-3. Machida. No one else near him at the moment in terms of points. Wash has eight of them. He goes off. Nishida has 21 now. He's a long way away from being it, and he had to really work for that point. Makes it 4 2. Bender just pushing it further than I think Bienik thought it was. In fact, it helped him angle the ball to the left-hand side. Zakita, short. And get the ball out to play, it goes. Got inside the antenna, so his commander raced across the net to send it back. It's pulled out. Mendon taking the next touch. 
Three four. Here's Shikawa. Him and Nishida most likely to ace statistically. Still no ace. from Nishida, left handed super spike. Five, Japan giving chase it, narrowing the lead once more. Commender dragged out on the set, Muzaj in a similar fashion to how Nishida did minutes ago. Musaj doesn't care about the position. He was slightly back off the attack line. He just poured down and thrashed the spike through. Wide for Nishida. Easily down on Commander who Stoop low, realising the 19-year-old was about to do. Just couldn't get across, across quick enough. Exciting it will be to see him in a home World Cup and then a home Olympics as well. Decoy. Shlivka saved by Ishikawa. And then missed by Shlivka. Six apiece. Japan just keeping it live and allowing Poland to make the error. comes back Japan's way. Ishikawa backcourt pipe over the top of Onodera. 7-6, Japan turn around a deficit. They have a one-point lead in the fourth set. And now Ishikawa Six points behind Nishida. 17. Lovely serve from Nishida. And Quash <laughs> very quickly puts to bed Poland's seventh point of the fourth set. The one away from the first technical timeout of the fourth. The error coming. Koga, who I thought had actually injured his knee there. He rocked back onto the court. It was in annoyance, not in pain, luckily. 8-7. Poland have a set lead at 2-1. And they have a point lead at the technical. Well, let's have a listen in. Nishida so far. All points from the spike. Now that is rather rare because normally you expect for him some aces thrown in for good measure. But today, Yuji Nishida, who has 0.35 of an ace per set average, none so far. You would normally have more than one for the match on average. Attacking wise, 50.2% success from spikes in the competition so far. Well, tonight, 23 
points all spikes as it stands he's back to being Japan's top scorer overall but only just Kita sets Ishikawa points the difference which means Nishida has a one-point advantage in their mini competition in the VNL to be Japan's top scorer Quash straight down the middle the 9-8 decoy from Bednorge on Adira didn't know which player to cover Nishida Kept live Still Japan And then overhitting And Poland get the point And Poland now have a 10-8 lead And from here Can they pull away to the technical timeout number two They need to stay disciplined But it's Japan now under pressure Onodera says, not on my watch, as he crunches the spike down. Ishikawa with the super spike. And Japan really nicely took control. Wow, look at that from Watajek. How he saved that. Then the error from Onodera. And finally, Ishikawa putting it through Quash with a lovely spike again in close super spike middle blocker close range is his range Sakita, oh, awkward set for the Japanese setter. Bednorj, Koga's there quickly. Nishida, it was never going right for Japan that point. And Poland bouncing their way into a 12 9 lead. In the end, it was the block that made it from Binia. Japan called the timeout. Smiles. Poland with the advantage. smiles for the crowd more confidence now from the captain he looks so pensive to start the game pressure from leading this inexperienced Polish team given to Japan that the 16th served up Poland today Musaj oh through for Kazawa super spike from the opposite it's taken him time to warm into this one today 
trust me, Kozawa. Those full well powerful massages that he has 15 points now. Leads Klosz. Biniak as the top scorer for Poland. Super spike once more. 11 13. Riley in for a rare appearance in this one with the point. Just two for the game for him. Relatively efficient though for his court time. Shikawa. Well, it's a long way out. He hit down, wanders away. Just here, all the way to the technical timeout. A couple of good serves. No, they can't. 12 14. Bed Norge this time with the error. Japan don't forget have to win the set to keep their hopes of a sixth win in this year's Vianella Live in their first match of week five. Sakita short somehow kept live. Wodzicek has no chance but to send the ball back over the net and then Fukuzawa misses. Important it is to keep the ball live. Keeps you in with a chance. It forces an error as it did there. Wrong for Kazaram from Japan. Trying to get across. There's the second technical timeout. further behind here. Got to get back into this. Beniak. Very calm. And who of course played at the Olympic Games. Oh, dear. It ensures that Japan don't drift further behind. power Koga with the dig Nishida off the block and that's another point Japan's way closing the gap back to 14 16 out the technical timeout Nishida 24 points of the match Norge covering couldn't get anywhere near Timeout. 
slow the Japanese flow down. That's the timeouts remaining. One apiece left in this set. Can Nishida and his team continue to close the gap? 16 12. It's now 14 16. Still, Japan have no aces. Schlivka. Was there a touch? No, there wasn't. Out it goes, says the referee. Three points in a row, Japan. Video challenge called, of course, by Vitalainen. Not going on at the net. Was there a touch? if the ball clips. Let's have a look here, does it clip? No, no touch. Worth an ask. Ticano, number 13, recently into the match. Lyman, no doubt, throwing the challenge in to give Poland the chance of breaking this run of three points in a row from Japan. Commenda, reverse, Muzaj. Koga, magnificent dig. Nishida, oh wow. Four in a row, 16 each. Japan are not only on a roll here. They haven't just rattled Poland. They're potentially playing their way back into the match. Nishida with 25 points. Is at the no, forefront no, yet no, again. Coming into the week, Yuji Nishida. Only Amir Gafour of Iran above him in terms of both points total. In terms of overall points total, I should say, Yuki Ishikawa, third best in the VNL. Well, they're both standing up again here. Japan making a match of this one. Touched by Nadira. Anyway, Poland break that run now. 17 16. It was 12 16 at the technical timeout. So 17 16 to Poland. Shot from Fukuzawa, 17 all. Japan go one behind and immediately rattle back to Peggy. Fukuzawa with the service. Slivka, no return that time. Tries again, finds a way through Ataki. Koga asked the referee what was going on at the net. Do Japan challenge. Well, Madeira and Ataka weren't quick enough. Slivka, holding leading 90-85 in points total across the whole match. 
is out. Comes back again off the block. And he only has five points of the match. That one. Off Carol Quash. Way out of play. Makes it 18 apiece. Ricochets away so fast, nothing at all that he can do to get that back for his team. Ataki, oh, Ben Norge. What a time to put the monster block in against Ataki. 2018, Japan up against it. The weakened world champions very much know they're in a game here but they're also holding on potentially for yet another win and they've made it 21 18 now don't forget this will be their first five match winning streak in 2019 in the Vienna if Poland can sneak over the line in the fall Five in a row, start of first edition of the year 2018. Five setters in a row last week. It feels like a five setter here. Ed Norge just offers himself a brief smile. Germany up next. He'll be analysing everything possibly take for Poland and Japan. Taki helps himself. stage 28 opponent errors 10 more in Poland today what a difference that has made to the state of this opening game this opening match here in Leipzig Mender Bednorz is going to come back on the Polish side of the net they can reset Binia gets the point out, it goes. The pressure release of Italinen is plain for all to see. Poland feel like they've done enough now. They can't get complacent, but they work very hard for this four-point lead. Does its job. Biniak, well saved by Takano. Massage, oh, rippling through the block and out it goes. Lee and Nishida next to each other. Match point. Five match points. Massage to seal it. 
Five in a row for the second time for Poland, if they can get the point. Whistle goes, it goes Japan's way. Beniak says, yep, it was me. I clipped the net and just... Rushing the bottom of the net. 20-24, four match points for Poland. Benia finishes it off. A comprehensive win in the end for Poland. But wow, did they have to work. The second two sets. Second two sets they won. Third set and the fourth got better and better. They take the win. 22-25, 25-19. 27 25 and then it got a lot better 25 20 the weakened world champions here in leipzig managed to find a way past japan they make it five wins for the second time ever in the vnl they don't have to go to five after going three in a row to five last week this is how they finished it. Binio powering the spike into Sakita. Japan, well, they started so well. A shell shot Poland went down 25 22 in the first. You can't keep this Polish team down. They're not world champions for nothing. They came roaring back. Binio finished it. He ended up with 14 points. Muzaj had 16, leading the Polish, leading everyone. In the middle there, Nishida, 26 points, all from spikes. Ishikawa, 19, 18 from spikes and one from the block. Poland, though, still give themselves that chance of the finals in the USA with an all-important win against Japan. 3-1, it finished. 57 attacks to 68 in Poland's, sorry, in Japan's favour. 12 blocks to three. Again, Japan get out blocked. Two serves to none. Japan managed not to get an ace at all. But look at the opponent errors. Japan gave away 10 more than Poland in the end in the match. And that really did make a big difference. Bearing in mind the third set was 27 25. Very important opponent errors the Leipzig arena is starting to fill up here as Germany will be coming up next let's have a look at the results then Poland three Japan one here on Friday the 28th of June Germany go in search of their third win of VNL 2019 next against debutants Portugal who are trying of course to avoid relegation and this is how it looks in the VNL so far this weekend. Iran back to the top, of course they are. 33 points, 13 wins, and that's, sorry, 11 wins in 13 matches for them. Brazil, 11 wins from their 12 matches. Russia third, France fourth, Poland now fifth place. That will be how they want it to at least be at the end of the weekend. Italy have a tough pool with France and Brazil to face this weekend. USA are already at the finals, whatever happens to them. Of course, Japan now down to 11th. They'll want to get back up to 10th before the weekend's out. Germany, Portugal, China, your bottom three in the VNL for 2019. Portugal want to avoid relegation. Can they do so? It's coming up next. Poland get their fifth win in a row. Thanks for being part of the game here in Leipzig.